एफएससी बायोलॉजी क्विक समरीज चैप्टर 24 कंप्लीट एवोल्यूशन फादर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पीपीएससी लेक्चरर एंड सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलिस्ट जोलॉजी एंड बायोलॉजी इन दिस फुल चैप्टर रिव्यू वी शैल डिस्कस दीस मेजर टॉपिक्स स्पेशली लमार्किज्म डार्विनिज्म एंड हार्डी वेनबर्ग थ्योरम विद एन एग्जांपल हियर आर सम टॉप रिकमेंडेड बुक्स बाय एचईसी फॉर मास्टर लेवल जोलॉजी मिलर एंड हार्ले जोलॉजी हिकमैन जोलॉजी पचेनिक इनवर्टिब्रेट्स जीसी कैंट वर्टिब्रेट्स कॉर्प सेल बायोलॉजी Gilbert developmental biology Sanusted and Simon genetics and Campbell biology these are the most favorite eight books for zoology which are being taught in different universities by teachers and professors history Linnaeus sought and found order in diversity of life he introduced binomial nomenclature for naming species Lamarck published his theory of evolution Malthus published essay on principle of population Cuvier contributed much to the science of paleontology and explained earth's history by catastrophism lyell published principles of geology mendel published papers on inheritance and darwin did a voyage of the beagle began his notes on the origin of species and wrote his essay on origin of species Wallis sent his theory to Darwin and that theory was of natural selection which he uh, published before darwin now these exact wordings uh, were important that's why i shared these snips evolution aristotle said that living things range from simple to complex present day concept of evolution is based on known history carlos linnaeus believed that species were permanent creation and they do not change went hypothesis for origin of life states that life originated first time in hydrothermal vents present deep in oceans where energy and raw materials were provided now archaea bacteria can tolerate temperature up to 120 degree centigrade found in these vents and also these bacteria has gone through less evolutionary change and still they are present today first photosynthetic organisms use hydrogen sulfide to reduce carbon dioxide to carbohydrates later water replaced h2s and liberated oxygen in atmosphere and about 420 million years ago enough protective ozone made life possible on land oxidizing environment which is present today prohibit creation of life abiotically or abiogenesis Prokaryotes arose about 3.5 million years ago. Eukaryotes first appeared about 1.5 million years ago. Endosymbiont hypothesis suggests that eukaryotes evolved from amoebaid anaerobic prokaryotes which ingested small aerobic bacteria. Endosymbiont hypothesis was suggested by Lynn Margulis. These aerobic bacteria developed into mitochondria and flagella may have arose by ingestion of spirochetes which are spiral bacteria and chloroplast may also was endosymbiotic in cyanobacteria like organisms not exactly cyanobacteria Lamarckism Lamarck published his theory of evolution in 1809 the year Darwin was born He was in charge at Natural History Museum in Paris. He presented a mechanism to explain how specific adaptations evolve. He proposed use and disuse of organs, blacksmith biceps and giraffe neck are examples of use of organs. He further argued that acquired characters produced during lifetime are inherited to offspring. Now the cumulative or additive effects of all these acquired characters during lifetime generation after generation are the reason of evolution and we now know that acquired characters cannot be inherited Charles Darwin He was born in Shrewsbury in Western England in 1809. He collected specimens of fauna and flora of South America on his voyage. He further surprised to note that uh, Galapagos Islands species are nowhere in the world. He also collected 13 types of finches. He concluded that new species evolve through adapt adaptation uh, in the earlier or in the ancestral species. speciation or formation of new species occur when species are exposed to different environments separated by geographical barriers 
He wrote a long essay on origin of species by natural selection. Wallis working in East Indies also developed identical natural selection theory and Darwin published his uh, The Origin of Species book or paper in 1859. Darwinism Darwin believed in common ancestry or unity of life that all organisms are related through descent from common ancestry and that is called descent with modification. History of life is like a tree and branches and living ones are at tips of these twigs. He emphasized that species become better adapted to local environment through natural selection. Three main observations form the base of theory of natural selection. Production of more individuals than capacity leads to struggle of survival. Survival then depends upon hereditary constitution. Better heredity characteristics that fit best to environment will succeed to produce more offspring. This unequal ability to survive will lead to gradual change with favorable characters. These three points are actually the base for natural selection. Neo-Darwinism Important turning point for evolutionary theory was birth of population genetics. In 1930s, Mendelism and Darwinism were reconciled on genetic basis and on the basis of this, Neo-Darwinism was developed in 1940s. It is called modern synthesis because it integrates ideas and discoveries from paleontology, taxonomy, biogeography and population genetics. Evidences of Evolution Darwin's theory of evolution was initially based on geographical distribution and fossil record. Islands have many endemic species. Endemic species are those species which are only present in a specific region, in a specific continent or specific area, are closely related to nearest mainland. Armored mammals lived only in America today. Fossil record predict that their ancestors occupied these continents and at present they are descendant of their early ancestors. Fossil record is strong evidence for evolution which provides series of visual record. Like fishes, amphibians, reptiles, mammals are series of evolutionary products. Fossils are found in sedimentary rocks, very important. Comparative anatomy also provides evidence like forelimbs of human, cat, whales are uh, similar or alike. Similarity in characteristics resulting from common ancestry is called homology. Comparative anatomy supports that evolution is remodeling process. Now that is very important MCQ or aspect. Flowers parts are homologous evolved from leaves. Homologous organs are examples of divergent evolution while analogous organs are examples of convergent evolution like wings of insects and wings of birds. Vestigial organs are historical remnants of structures that had functions in the past but today they are non-functional. Leg bones in whales and snakes. Vermiform appendix, ear muscles in man are examples of vestigial organs. Now embryonic development is similar in closely related organisms. All vertebrate embryos have gills. All vertebrate embryos have gill pouches on side of the throat during their early development. In fishes, they remain gills but in terrestrial vertebrates, they become eustachian tubes that connect the middle ear with the throat in humans. Comparative embryology often develops homology among structures. DNA and proteins also show evolutionary relationship. Two species with matching DNA must have evolved from common ancestry. Genetic code or triplet code for protein translation is also common among different organisms. Even taxonomically remote organisms like bacteria and humans have some common proteins or some common genes. Cytochrome C is a respiratory protein found in all aerobic species. Natural selection and artificial selection. Natural selection occurs through interaction of environment and heredity. Artificial selection is done intentionally to produce more useful breeds. Like the crops and cattle we see domesticated belong to some wild ancestor. 
those wild species have changed quickly in short time due to artificial selection that is another evidence of evolution but natural evolution depends on heredity and took a huge time antibiotic resistance in bacteria is an example of live natural selection population gene frequencies the total aggregate of genes in a population at any one time is called population's gene pool it consists of all alleles at all loci in all individuals of population each locus is represented twice in the genome of an individual and we know homologous pairs if all number members of population are homozygous for same allele it is said to be fixed allele but more often there are two or more alleles in relative frequency hardy weinberg theorem describe frequencies of non evolving populations please remember non evolving populations hardy weinberg theorem principle states that frequencies of alleles and genotypes both alleles and phenotypes genotypes in a population's gene pool remain constant over generations unless acted upon by agents other than sexual combination hardy and weinberg independently derived this principle in 1908 shuffling of alleles or random fertilization has no effect on overall genetic structure uh, that the population which is following hardy weinberg theorem hardy weinberg equation is binomial expansion actually for total number of individual alleles having only two forms their sum is always 100% or simply one as p plus q is equal to 1 p is the uh, allele 1 uh, and q is the allele 2 for diploid offspring the formula is p square plus 2 pq is plus q square is equal to 1 and uh, we can understand these uh, applications of the formulas in the next example a population has 85 individuals of genotype aa 320 of genotype a is capital a small a and 295 of genotype small a small a calculate the genotype frequencies and the frequencies of alleles a and small a now i have taken uh, this question from campbell biology exercise now let's solve it the genotype frequencies can be calculated simply that the total population given in this question is uh, 85 plus 320 plus 295 is equal to 700 so we need total population to calculate the individual frequencies of these genotypes frequency of aa will be 85 divided by 700 so simply divide uh, the frequency with the total number of population uh, for the genotypes and that is 0.12 and round round off please uh, or 12% similarly frequency of capital a small a will be 320 divided by 700 point four six and frequency of small a a will be two ninety five divided by seven so in this way we can calculate the frequencies of the genotypes or diploid individuals now allele frequencies can be calculated using a different aspect or different approach or formula here is the formula now in this question we note that eighty five individuals have a a allele so 85 must be multiplied with 2 to calculate total alleles similarly the individuals with capital a small a have one capital a a sorry that's why uh, that must be multiplied with the 320 and the individual small a small a do not have any capital a that's why zero is multiplied so this is actually a formula and uh, the multiplication is necessary with the zero so by calculating uh, all these uh, uh, total number of alleles and then we can divide with the total number of alleles in the population and that is 1400 because in the 700 uh, population there must be 1400 alleles the answer is uh, 0.35 and uh, if uh, capital a allele is calculated then the second allele is very easy to calculate using formula p 
p plus q or here a plus a is equal to 1 so 0.35 is capital a so the small a will be 0.65 so in this way we can calculate uh, both genotype frequencies as well as allele frequencies now please remember these are two different aspects and in mcqs these are specifically asked whether to calculate genotype or uh, allele frequency factors affecting gene frequency those factors which potentially change the gene frequency in a population are mutations which are ultimate source of all changes migrations in migrations or e migrations i remember them as in migration and exit migration genetic drift change in frequency by chance usually loss of alleles non random mating is mating among specific genotypes only neglecting the other genotypes that actually will disturb the overall frequency selection natural or artificial selection both are disturbing the balance or equilibrium of the hardy weinberg if all these factors operate then hardy weinberg theorem fails to predict accurate gene frequencies endangered species Extinction is a natural process that will continue. Habitat destruction has increased this threat dramatically. Most threatened areas on earth are tropical rainforest which are reduced to 44%. Threatened species are likely to become endangered. Preservation of uh, or conservation of natural resources of wildlife may be done by natural parks protected landscape by use of the public and zoos and botanical gardens these are some ways which can be used to conserve or preserve the natural uh, sources in pakistan cheetah tiger asian lion indian rhino chair pheasant crocodile and gavial have been declared extinct indus dolphin black buck common leopard Great Indian Bustard, Hobara Bustard, White-Headed Duck and Marbled Teal are endangered species in Pakistan and these uh, both are very very important for you to remember. More than 500 species of plants are recorded endangered in Pakistan. Next lecture inshallah uh, will be chapter 25 ecosystem complete for other chapters you can watch uh, uh, the playlist or check the description of this video for the links. Thank you so much for being with you hope you enjoyed the learning. Allah Hafiz.